Hi, my name is Alex Hayward. I'm co-founder of Axia Futures and I run a team of 40 plus proprietary traders in the city of London as well as in uh, Wrocław, Poland. We have been using Journalytics for almost six months now and uh, we use it on our training programs, uh, the, both the eight week and the 12 week in order to really source and develop talent. We also use it on our trading floor amongst our elite traders, our junior traders and our senior traders. All of them use it for a particular type of purpose. And uh, what really is so surprising across the proprietary trading space in London is the lack of real time performance analytics. For an industry so reliant on data to drive intelligent uh, performance, this part of data collection and structuring has always been very archaic. This was until we started onboarding journalytics amongst our professional traders uh, to really spot the performance hotspots and the challenging areas where our traders need to improve. Uh, the primary reason uh, we really decided to onboard journalistics was, not, was that not only was it a performance metrics for our uh, helping traders, but find certain parts of their game to improve upon, to constant evolutionize and uh, help the platform for meeting our challenging requirements. I'm going to show you a little bit of how we use uh, journalytics on the trading floor. Not only do we use it on uh, the trading floor, we also deliver it on our streaming channel to our internal community. And, uh, and it's really been uh, something that's added, you know, that little bit of extra edge and a little bit of extra advantage that is always key to make sure, you know, in this game of this uh, ultimate professional game, to really make sure that you are pushing in every single part of your game and finding any little weak spots and uh, challenges. So let's go and have a look at uh, how we use uh, Journalytics. Okay, so firstly, uh, we have the calendar um, spot. And just from a bird's eye view, you try and see, you know, where were those uh, uh, weeks on this run. So this is obviously for November for one of our, uh, for one of our senior traders. And uh, what's really important uh, for you is, you know, if you're a senior or if you're a junior trader, is really being able to dig down into specific types of days and, uh, and where you did badly or where you did well and how you can benchmark uh, best practices. So this is such a great bird's eye view and you always want, you know, at the end of the month, you want to go and nail down the days that you did badly, nail down the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the weeks that you did really well and see what your best practices were. And the days that you did badly, was it because of a skill deficiency? Uh, was it because uh, a psychological shortfall? Why did you go on tilt? And you can ask yourself, these type of dynamic questions that are the most important when you are reviewing your your, your data uh, from a very intelligent uh, perspective and then from here you can actually click on any one of these days and when you click on any one of these days you can actually bring up your trades uh, for all that day and as you can see we have a, a, a trader over here talking about and journaling what his experience was on a specific type of trade so it really gives a nice little cascading effect of uh, how you can go about looking at uh, particular types of trades. And, uh, and that's how we really try and implement this on our training program, uh, the ability to journalize trades, because when you start journalizing, you start really programming your unconscious state for pattern recognition. And this journaling habit, this journaling routine, will really go about helping you in, uh, in finding the trades that could be your future uh, edges and uh, patterns. And then uh, when you even dig down even uh, deeper, you can look for your period or for your month of how you performed, uh, the, t uh, the times of day that you performed, as you can see over here. So you've got your performance metrics for the times of day, as well as uh, the trades and where you were most active. And this really works on a specific weekly uh, time frame and daily. So you can really go from a macro perspective all the way down to a daily perspective. And uh, it gets a really nice overview, but you can really break it down from a, a calendar perspective. And, uh, and and when you start really going, you can then start looking at your specific types of uh, trades on how you performed in, in, in various areas that you were trading on. And, uh, and as well as the product and the currency classes. And so you can, you can really look, because it's so many times traders just don't know where their blind spot is. And this is where uh, really the intelligent journalytics can really help you on that side. And uh, you can dig down even deeper what, uh, what days that you've been doing well, because maybe the volatility is always coming on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And, uh, and these seasonal patterns happen for sustained periods of time. And the quicker you pick them up, the more effective you will be 
as a trader. So it breaks it down to the days, breaks it down to the product classes and how you've done uh, or where you've lost money in the product classes or uh, which, uh, w which products are really paying so you can really focus your attention on uh, products that are doing really well because maybe the volatility is to your liking in that specific area. And uh, one of the features that uh, one of our senior elite uh, traders uses is this dashboard over here. You know, it gives you your, your news, it's a day overview, uh, but more importantly, he uses this over here, this is risk. He's trying to increase his size. So every single day, if there's a particular edge that's in play for him, he just looks at this play over here, how much risk exposure, so how many lots did he get into the market? And so he's trying to get to a thousand lots as quickly as possible with regards to his edge. So he keeps on, when any particular type of technical play or macro news hits the market, he tries to really look and focus on this part. And this really, you know, uh, over a you know, month, uh, two months ago, it was sitting around 400. So he's really shifted this by 150% in his risk exposure to the market. So every one of our traders uses these, uh, you know, uh, the analytics for, for what is geared for them at that specific time. Our younger traders again use the journaling and that's so what we train all of our graduates in the program is the, the, the ability to develop your journaling techniques to build a pattern database so you can really go about executing uh, key, key trades uh, in the markets as you develop this incredible database of uh, understanding how you will go about trading uh, the markets. So that's really of, of how a week look. You can also look at from a daily perspective where, you know, for the, uh, in this particular case, you know, this trader for about a week and a half, there was lots of plays in the future session during the European session at 7 a.m. So most of his activity was in the first two, three hours of the market because that's all the volatility. And then how did he trade for uh, the rest of uh, the session? And that's uh, really the, the important aspect of how we use journalytics and it's such a powerful tool but remember a tool is powerful if it brings your ability to ask the right and dynamic question. I'd recommend uh, journalytics to any serious trader. Uh, we use it uh, on our floor so um, uh, amongst all uh, levels of experience of our traders and uh, we're really very fortunate and happy uh, to be having journalytics as a part of our intelligent um, tool set uh, for making our traders better and for cultivating real edge in the market. That's mainly because of the way the market has been offering the last three, four days. So if you don't get frustrated, you take information from the market every single day, you're able to then use that information for potential trade construction. Today the performance in Dominic Graf quit, we had the Bund in such a sweet spot. And uh, because of that sweet spot, people were able to lift those highs incredibly aggressively and uh, really take on a very big technical play in the Bund. You could really react off uh, what, the, uh, what the cable was doing. So the moment cable offered aggressively, the bonds were literally just on those highs from the last two days. Risk off, you remember you're buying your bonds, you're buying your yen, you're buying your gold, you're selling the equities.